वॉट एवर इज हैपनिंग इन इंडिया एंड अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इज नॉट गुड न्यूज एट ऑल बट देर आर रेस ऑफ होप टू वी कुड सी द बर्ड्स इन अवर ओन बालकनीज एंड इन सम प्लेसेस द वाइल्ड एनिमल्स आर कमिंग आउट इन द ओपन वी ह्यूमन्स हैव फॉगॉटन द फैक्ट दैट दिस प्लानट बिलोंग्स टू एवरी वन एज इट एफ वी ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड एक्सपीरियंसिंग क्लीन एयर क्रिस्टल क्लेय वॉटर द यमुना रिवर इच इज टू बी रियली डर्टी इज रनिंग वेरी क्लीन नाउ ऑन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मे वी अब्जर्व इंटरनेशनल डे फॉर बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड टू टॉक मोर अबाउट इट लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस टू ए स्पेशल गेस्ट टूडे इज नेम इज हरी दिलीप कुमार Hari welcome to the show and just tell me what is biodiversity all right so i think that's a very important question for us to be considering um, and uh, it's good that you brought it up so biodiversity literally means biological diversity and diversity means like differences uh, in that sense so it could be diversity in terms of uh, genes or genetics or species or habitats or ecosystems and uh, it's tremendously important um, it's estimated that there could be even like 100 million different species in the world and uh, if you consider this is actually uh, like biodiversity of this type is like knowledge which nature has built up over millions and hundreds of millions and billions of years on how to support life uh, in an e- in ecosystems and uh, therefore anything which affects biodiversity or destroys biodiversity is literally like burning this knowledge which nature has created on how to support life and um, for human beings especially even though we don't realize it uh, perhaps uh, we are very dependent on the biodiversity in the world the air we breathe and uh, you know the water and the food we eat all of these are the result of millions of different ir- interactions and processes between uh, living things which are occurring all the time and uh, these living things basically they cycle materials through the earth systems and uh, by, by working together in very finely tuned ways uh, they produce stable and healthy ecosystems which support uh, life as we know it so uh, biodiversity is really important and uh, you know it's it's not just about uh, we 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 are not separate from the the system in which we live oh really thanks sir that's a good insight and uh, we are seeing a different world right now the world seems to be an abandoned uh, land we can see the cars just parked outside the road and also the aircrafts also they just parked either in the uh, tarmac or in the hangars but once the lockdown lifts up would everything go back to normal like business as usual any lessons learned hari i think that's a fantastic question um, because uh, you know like the it's it's true that lockdown has had like a huge effect on society and on the environment definitely the environment seems to be cleaner and there's less pollution and uh, one would want it to stay that way uh, but we should also remember that lockdown has severely affected the economy in different ways and all over the world countries are restarting their economies and uh, by restarting they're going to be stimulating businesses and spending and so on and so forth so you know when you do that it's really important to keep in mind how you do it so you could do it in a way where you invest in clean energy and solar energy and so on and so forth and you have a green restart or you could do it in a way where you make it easier for uh, you know pollution to happen in order to incentivize business more so you could have a brown restart so i think it's really important for india especially to consider what kind of restart we're having and what kind of stimulus we're having and many of the rich countries are going to be investing in you know clean infrastructure solar infrastructure so on and so forth as part of their stimulus packages i think the biggest lesson to be drawn is that in some sense uh, what we're seeing is the consequences of pushing on one of the boundaries of the environment or of nature too much and as a result of this you know there's been a terrific price to pay in terms of uh, how our societies function and how our economy functions but there are other risks as well uh, from climate change and from biodiversity loss and so on and so forth and if we push those boundaries we are also going to see um, all kinds of uh, events which might unfold uh, as a result of that so i think the the lesson to be learned is let's recover from this but let's do it in a way that makes our societies more robust and resilient and fair and equitable for all 
and more able to deal with uh, things like climate change and biodiversity loss which will only cause more havoc. Uh, and also, uh, on a personal note, uh, I see you doing a lot of cycling uh, uh, trips, even the cross-country cycling trips also. As an individual like you and me, do we have any responsibility uh, you know, for all the change? Right? You know, we can always say the system is not good, you know, we can always blame the government or the, uh, the civil societies. As an individual, what, uh, what is our responsibility, Hari? Can you just brief, uh, briefly tell about that? Well, I think it's a fantastic question. I think, um, you know, individuals uh, have to start examining, like, for example, the way they consume, uh, the way they travel and so on and so forth. So it's true. I love cycling. I used to cycle a lot uh, several years ago, but I fell out of the habit of cycling a lot. But definitely, uh, you know, once I start traveling around again, it's going to be on cycle. You know, cycling is a great way to get healthy, get fit, get into a community of cyclists you know, not pollute the environment, not release any, uh, not contribute to greenhouse uh, effect and global warming, uh, you know, uh, just generally to have a great time. And it's the way which in which our, uh, you know, our probably in our grandparents generation, most people were traveling. So it's a, it's a great time to, you know, get out the cycles and start cycling again. And, you know, it's not impossible that if we have a significant number of people who, you know, start cycling again, then you know we can actually see cleaner uh, environment for good because uh, if you take the example of Copenhagen um, the city in Denmark for example uh, in the 70s they were actually quite a polluted city and uh, they had a lot of cars and vehicles and so on and so forth and what happened was that there was an energy crisis in the 70s and the price of energy and the price of oil uh, became very high and because of this uh, they started using cycles again and they started using uh, I mean, they started encouraging it in the city planning and so on and so forth. With the result that, you know, it's a it's a paradise for cyclists now. And Copenhagen is set to become, you know, one of the first, uh, basically, carbon net neutral, uh, carbon net carbon zero cities in the world by 2025. So if they can do it, there's no reason why we can't do it. And, you know, you have to remember cycling is a really fun thing to do as well, especially with your, when you're with friends. Thanks, Ari. That was a really good insight on biodiversity and also uh, my dad uh, had uh, got me a hero cycle i know i had painted it and put my name also and started uh, cycling it to my school and also if uh, anybody wants any type of stories on sustainability like what kind of stories you need to know whether it's about water waste management or electricity or anything right anything on sustainability what kind of stories uh, you want us to talk or any any issues you need to discuss uh, or anything you need to get a clarification you can always write to us or uh, you know on this channel smart sustain we have a youtube we are active on facebook and also linkedin we're uh, giving all the links there so just uh, let us know so that you know we can actually talk about the issues which you wanted it so you know many people uh, might be interested in certain kind of a, uh, subjects right so they wanted to uh, know more about it we will definitely discuss uh, all that and hi and hari will be doing a series of uh, uh, you know videos on this and we'll be really interested to uh, know your feedback please uh, subscribe to our youtube channel uh, our linkedin page and also the facebook and uh, instagram and uh, thanks Hari, thanks very much uh, uh, for today's uh, insight and uh, we'll see you next time and uh, wishing everybody a happy uh, International Day of Biodiversity. Thank you so much Manju, thank you so much Smart Sustain. You know, I, I really look forward to exploring more about sustainability and uh, you know, happy International Biodiversity Day everyone. Remember to get your cycles out. Mm -hmm.